Welcome to all you listeners who've just tuned in. You're listening to the sizzling sounds of Lego City Radio. And let me tell you that the forecast for today is hot, hot, hot. She is Lego City. It's been two years since I was sent away, but it made me a better cop, a smarter, faster cop. So what brings you back here, Chase McCain? An old acquaintance. A promise to keep. A debt of honor to be repaid. I meant business or pleasure. I have to fill in your paperwork. Maybe neither. Maybe both. Yeah, I really do have to tick one of the boxes. Sea dog, I slide her smoothly into port. <laughs> and what brings you to Lego City, young lady? Uh, this boat. Oh, fiddle pants. Mayor Gleason. Thank you so much for coming back, Chase. I know it can't have been easy for you. I had to get a new passport. I was referring to you leaving under a cloud, but okay. I'll get straight to the point. Rex Fury has escaped and is at large in Lego City. What? Is Natalia okay? Natalia's fine. She's still in witness protection. I have to speak to her. I'll get you her number. But if you really want to protect Natalia, find Rex Fury and bring him to justice. Again. Chase, this city is in the grip of a crime wave. Really? Yes, look. Hey! And I'm certain Rex Fury is behind it. You're the only person I trust to stop him, Chase. Get to the station and get me Rex Fury. See you there.
Hey, do you need help with those donuts? No, I'm okay, thanks. I'm Frank Honey, by the way. Chase. Chase McCain. Chase McCain? You're a legend! Is it true that you brought down Rex Fury? Mm, just part of the team. Deputy Dunby made the actual arrest. And I'm not a legend. I'm an ordinary cop. Just like you, honey. Whoa! <laughs> well, maybe not just like you. So, you want to show me around this new station of yours? It would be my honor! I will wait for you inside. Okay. Chase? Yeah, it's me. Are you okay? Charged. What do you think you're doing? You can't call me. I'm in witness protection. <gasps> witness protection? I was worried. Rex is out. I thought he might come after you. I know, but he's not after me. The chief of police himself told me that Rex fled the city. What? The mayor just told me he was still here. What? Should I? Uh, yeah. I just want to make sure you're safe. You're the reason I got into this mess in the first place. Where are you? I'm not telling you that. Natalia Smith to Mercy Hearts Reception, please. Mercy Hearts Hospital? No! Yes, but don't bother coming here, because if Rex could come after me, then I'm not sticking around. <laughs> Rex. Cleaning the stairs. I'm cleaning the stairs. I forgot to get some water oh, before cleaning the stairs. Are you sure that's safe, Frank? Of course it's. <laughs> oh. Hey there. This is our main computer. It doesn't usually smoke like this. It got hacked into this morning. Triggered a security alert and locked down the elevator, but it only blew up when Frank tried repairing it. With a hammer. Security lockdown lifted. Elevator functionality restored. Eh, not bad. I'll try and find out who hacked it. Oh, if you get stuck, I'll help you. I know everything about computers. Computers. Yes, computers. Basement time! So, until we find the camera, we have to take mug shots by photocopying people's face. Fine, Madam Mayor. I'll brief the officers on Rex, but I still say he's long gone from here. Meddling fool, making me hire some specialist she's brought in from overseas. Chase McCain? Dunby, you're the new police chief? Ugh, right. I might not like giving you a job, McCain, but it does mean you have to follow my orders. First one, get down to the basement. 